Absolutely, we're going to be watching it very, very closely through the week and month ahead. Well, still to come on tonight's show is all right. Uh, we've got much more ahead on the show. Sometimes you just got to uh, do it yourself, simplify it a little bit. Well, making things even worse across the West, the threat of Santa Ana winds returns. Assistant Deputy Director for Cal Fire Daniel Bo right now on Weather Underground, fast spreading wildfires force tens of thousands. I want to get you caught up on what's going on across portions of the West. We've been talking, of course, about the dangerous fire conditions once again today, and we have a new fire to tell you about. You got the low clouds, kind of a gloomy, drizzly afternoon there. There's our front uh, rain all the way from the Great Lakes down to the Gulf Coast. The thunderstorms generally confined to uh, parts of Kentucky and Tennessee down towards the Gulf Coast. So that's where we really got the downpours and also frequent lightning. That's been the story around Mobile. No longer a severe warning on this storm. So still watching for frequent lightning, but we don't have that threat of the strong gusty winds. Uh, there could still be some wind gusts with these storms, but we're not talking about severe criteria into that 60 plus mile per hour range. Chattanooga, you've got the thunderstorms coming down right now. Uh, areas to the east of Huntsville, uh, right along 85. That's where we're going to be watching for those uh, thunderstorms or 59, excuse me, uh, 75. Also, you'll begin to see those thunderstorms cross over the area. Places like Rome and Dalton in uh, northwest parts of Georgia. Then we get you up into parts of the Ohio Valley. That's where the rain is coming down. It's generally light with some pockets of heavier rain in there in spots. So uh, watching for just kind of a gloomy Monday afternoon there. The areas where we're watching for the severe weather focused right along that front. So it's a pretty narrow zone, pretty uh, small zone. And, and generally, as I said, this has been across the southern part of this zone in particular. Time things out for you in Atlanta. You'll watch some showers, thunderstorms begin to show up off into the western suburbs by the time we get towards 9, 10 o'clock. Overnight, you can see some rain showers move in. They'll be hit or miss, pretty scattered in nature. And then tomorrow, watching for a little bit more in the way of wet weather. Uh, by lunchtime and through the afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms likely to affect all parts of the metro area. So it could be a tougher day on the roads. This as that front continues to slide east. So Mike, it's a kind of a one two day of rain showers, thunderstorms. We'll have them again on Tuesday.
some rain coming to these states as well. So parts of Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Maine, where drought has been an ongoing issue and story. New York City, your chances of rain moving in on Tuesday, but best chance Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That's when I think you'll see the most coverage, see the most wet weather, and then behind that, temperatures uh, drop and skies clear out later on Wednesday. There is our front. Our deepening low pressure system along that front is going to draw in even more moisture. So that's why we could be looking at some, some decent rainfall totals along the mid-Atlantic in particular. As our cold front moves offshore, we'll eventually see the rain chances go along with it. But tomorrow, all the way from the Carolinas up into Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, Jersey, New York State, a few showers begin to work their way into New England, but I think it's tomorrow night and into Wednesday that our New England states have the best chance and the highest coverage of wet weather. There's Wednesday's forecast. So Boston, Hartford, Providence still getting in on the wet weather, as will Portland and Bangor, Maine. And by the time all is said and done, looking at some uh, good and needed totals for a lot of these areas. So one to two inches through much of our northeastern states. But take a look at northern Vermont and north central New Hampshire. There could be some spots in that two to three inch range. So again, welcome needed rain, but parts of the mid Atlantic may be dealing with some flash flooding issues. If we see those heavy downpours come down, we always know those cities. There's a lot of pavement, and so that makes them a little bit more susceptible to the flash flooding. Now we're also heading into the end of September and October. Tropical season by far not over. And Dr. Now we've got some interesting things that we need to start watching. Now. Starting to get some of those fall fronts that offer up much cooler readings and even within 24 hours, we can see some pretty drastic drops. So let's look at, for example, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hi today, pretty balmy. Put it into motion, 80 degrees. All right, so you're thinking that's a little warm, but still, I like it. What about tomorrow? Big changes behind that front. As good as it gets, 62. So about an 18 degree drop expected between today and tomorrow. And Mike, this is not the only spot where temperatures are going down. Some of our viewer friends for Woo TV, Gabe and his sister wrote me and they said, yep, that's pretty much what we are known for. You can buy any funny t-shirt you want. You can buy uh, a lot of fudge. So come on by. The fall, by the way, very crowded because it starts to get really beautiful. And you can see how quaint it was there. And can you imagine with the fall foliage? Lovely stuff. Uh, severe weather possible along our front today. I think Gatlinburg are going to be a little bit uh, farther east. And we have seen some around Chattanooga, though. So I think lightning definitely in play for you guys in uh, Gatlinburg. I think up into parts of Ohio, places like Kent, it's been just rain for you. And rain is what's still left to come. But plenty of lightning moving away from Mobile into western parts of Florida, parts of Alabama, and eastern parts of Tennessee, getting in on some of those heavier showers. It's a pretty narrow band and again frequent lightning. So if you're hearing in thunder inside where you need to be and these are beginning to make their way into that northwest corner of the state of Georgia as well. Farther to the north I would say of Kentucky. Now we're just getting some of the steadier light rain with some heavier uh, downpours embedded in there. We're going to see that around Parkersburg, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, home of the Mothman. You have a few rain showers falling right now. Uh, but again, generally pretty light in uh, in in rainfall. Future radar showing the story. There go our rain showers, our thunderstorms. As we get into the later evening and overnight, comes a bit more scattered across the region, but we'll pick up with more rain and thunderstorm chances coming our way along the front tomorrow, Mike.